Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to download and install the whole process for Google Photos. First of all, what we want to do even before downloading the app itself, go right into Safari and get your Gmail account. Okay, so up here, just type in gmail.com. It's going to take you to this site. And right here, you guys can create an account or sign in. So if you guys already have one, you're good to go. If you're not, just click right here where it says create account and then just fill up your name, username, password, and you're all set. Once that's set, just leave it alone and go right into your app store. In your app store, you guys are gonna look for Google Photos. So right here on the bottom right hand side, you guys will see the search option. Just tap right there. And then on top here, just tap right there and type in Google Photos. So let's search for that. Obviously, it's not the very first option. First options are always ads. So that's an ad up there. You guys have to choose the second option where it says Google Photos. Just press on get and it's gonna download. This download will not take that long. Google Photos itself, the app is pretty small, so it won't take up too much space on your phone. So I really, 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 really wouldn't worry about that, okay? <laughs> Space-wise, you guys are set to go. So this is gonna download, and then we can open it up and go throughout the whole installation process. Like I told you guys, you guys already have your Gmail account, so you're pretty set to go. You guys will see that it's gonna open up, and it's gonna go right into everything without having any issues. Once the app is fully downloaded, you guys will see open. So we can go ahead and open up the app from here. So we're gonna get this message. And yes, you guys do want this. So please allow it. Cause that's the point of Google Photos, right? And now Google Photos would like to send notifications. Well, that's up to you guys. You guys can turn this off or on. I'm gonna put it on. Same deal, I'm gonna put it on again. Okay, from here we have two options. Our first option is high quality, free unlimited storage, and our second option is original limited account storage. So, it really depends. Um, with limited storage, I think you get 15 gigs, which is pretty big. But again, although your photos and videos will be at full size, you will be limited to those 15 gigs. With high quality, free and limited storage, it's pretty good because you still get 16 megapixels, okay? And then you get as well 1080p video if I'm not. Yeah, I think I'm pretty right about that, okay? So it's 1080p video. So if you guys are recording any videos in 4K, those will be downsized. Same goes with your images. They will be downsized in order to fit here, but they look just fine. Something before I even keep going with the setup video, okay, because we're pretty much done with the setup video, I just have to click on confirm. Anyways, high quality, free unlimited storage. Why is this free? Because Google's taking your pictures and that's how they can match ads in order to give you custom ads to you, okay? They want to advertise, they want to sell stuff to you, so that's why they're giving you this for free. So you cannot do pay for everything that like Google Maps, if you guys are using Google Maps, you're kind of paying for it because you're giving them your data. You're giving them your data about where you're going, what time you're going, all that stuff. So keep that in mind when you guys are looking at this stuff. And um, I already did the setup before with my Google Photos on my computer. So that's why I have 13 gigs right now left because I already have some gigs on it. But anyways, for free quality, I actually turn my stuff to that. Just watch out with what you guys actually upload okay i wouldn't upload any information that really matters so no pictures of important documents i don't recommend doing that i don't recommend putting any pictures that you guys may not want to be publicized all right you don't want a hacker to go in and just take those pictures of you guys so for pictures that you guys you know they may be personal but not too personal then you're good to go all right, so that's just my advice down here we're gonna click on confirm i always suggest not turning on the use your cellular data in order to sync all this up just because it might you guys might run out pretty fast of your data so just don't turn it on for now just use your Wi-Fi so let's just click on confirm once we click on confirm start things are going to start to sync I already had Google Photos like I mentioned on my computer so I already have photos uploaded here but everything that's on your camera roll that's gonna sync up here all right and every time you guys take a picture it's gonna sync up if you're on Wi-Fi network, okay? Or else you guys can go back to your settings and just sync it up using your data plan. That's fine. It really depends how much data you guys have. So right here, you guys will have albums. You guys will have assistant. 
and you guys will have sharing, all right? So just be careful with sharing. Don't share that link that you guys get with just anybody, all right? Just make sure you share that with somebody you know. Okay, so those are the basics for your Google Photos. This is just an installation process. If you guys hear something in my background, that's actually my dog sleeping. So if you guys hear that noise, that's my dog, <laughs> just in case. I know I'm gonna get a few comments about that, but anyways, um, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here within the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.